Here you gave, uh, I think it was a 59-58 lead that you gave him after a basket. Where do you think it got away from you guys from there? Um, well, one of our main problems today was um, a lack of communication at times. And I think that's what kind of got away from the lead that we got. And it's just we have to remember that we need to communicate at all times because we obviously, you can see, we do a great job when we're communicating on the court. That lack of communication, is that where you feel like they got so many open looks at three-pointers? Yeah, definitely. I, I think that's one of the main reasons. Because when we were communicating and we talk, everybody knows what place they're supposed to be in and everything just flows. And when we're just silent, nobody knows where to go. And that's when they get open shots. Were you guys trying to be <coughs> aggressive offensively and taking, at her, taking the ball at her as well? Yeah, definitely. We, um, we knew that they were going to play behind, so getting it inside was an important point, and I think we did a good job of that for the most part. Um, but being able to score over her, Candace did a good job in the first half. I got a few buckets on her, and it was definitely a point of emphasis because it drew the guard defense in and got them open. The players mentioned it. Is, is, did, you, did you agree? Is that where you feel like Minnesota was able to get so many looks at three-pointers against you guys today in communication? Yeah, I, I think... Um, this might have been a game where we gave up more uncontested shots. Might might have been the most all season. You know, we've we've been um, a lot better at that. Um, I, and I just felt like from the beginning of the game, you know, we were we were kind of a step slow in our in our defensive rotations. Um, and then, you know, as as our energy picked up, you know, our communication wasn't wasn't quite there. And and we're a team that that relies on, um, you know, we're a unit. You know, we, we got to play together. We, you know, all five parts have to be working in concert. And when the communication isn't there, um, then, it, then it's hard for all five pieces to, um, to be moving and, and connecting at, at, the, at the level that we, we want and anticipate. So, um, you know, that was, that was the thing that I thought was, was um, you know, kind of hurt us tonight. Did you feel like some of those threes, it also hurt? It seemed like they, they got some uh, offensive rebounds and kickouts uh, to get those open looks as well. Yeah, you know, and, and that's the thing. Um, you know, they got a couple offensive rebounds, you know, the scrambles. Um, we, you know, when you're scrambling for the ball and, 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 they, and they kick out, you know, that's, you know, that, those, are, those are killers because it's hard to, to defend that, you know, when mm -hmm. you're, when you're in, a, in a, scram a scramble and the ball pops out and, they make one more to the wide open, wide open shooter. So those those are tough, but that means we just got to come down with the defensive rebound and not allow that to happen. What can you say about Tori's performance today? Not only scoring, but just her hustle and everything that she brought. Not that it wasn't expected to be happen, but the fact that she was patient and waiting for a night like this to happen and then took advantage of it. Well, patience is a great word because I thought she played with a lot of patience on the offensive end. You know, when she got the ball inside. Um, you know, she took her time, she was patient, and she got good shots. Um, you know, and, and, and you know, picking up the, the fouls on, on Zowie B in the second half and, um, you know, putting her on the bench in foul trouble, you know, that, that, was, a, that was big, and, and Tori played a, a big role in that um, and allowed us to, to come back in the game. So, you know, I thought, I thought her, her patience on offense um, and, and her presence on defense was, was pretty big. Did Sierra show the same kind of patience? I'm looking down here, eight assists, no turnovers. Well, you know, I thought Sierra played a, a, a pretty smart floor game, you know, and, um, you know, we've been talking um, with our team about taking care of the ball and, and making better decisions. And I thought she, she did that for the most part. You know, she did a good job of picking her spots, you know, driving and, and looking to score and, and moving the ball and, and getting other people involved. And, um, that's one of the reasons why you know we, we scored as many points as we did tonight because of the way she ran the team.